Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Promedia back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I want to tell you guys about all of the upcoming events and characters that us global players can expect for part 2 of the 4 year anniversary. And first things first, just to get it out of the way, based on my best guess, the second part of the celebration should begin on July 22nd, which is literally 2 days from the time this video drops. And there are two main reasons why I decided to put this video out now. Number one, just a lot of people have been asking me for updates, so here's your update. And number two, for some reason, I'm actually going on this canoe slash camping trip with my family between Monday and Wednesday, so I just want to make sure to get all of this information out now on the channel since there's a good chance I won't be here for the beginning of part two. So there you go, guys, and with all that said, Let's jump into the info, and we're going to start here with this brand new Dragon Ball GT story event, and it's an awesome event with a lot of levels, so a lot of stones for clearing those levels. I think the final total, including this mission down here, is 25 Dragon Stones from this event. And in addition, the other exciting thing is that we can actually farm these new physical Vegeta Juniors, and he has a Dokkan Awakening here, but at the same time, we can also Extreme Z Awaken him with this Extreme Z battle event we're also getting. And it works just like every other Extreme Z battle event. We get the medals from clearing the levels. And we also get 30 stones for clearing levels 1 to 30. As well as a few extra stones from the missions here. And uh, by the way, the weakness for this event is Goku's family here. So for those of you that pulled LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku... He should be good to go. And this guy is actually really, really solid for a free-to-play unit. I'll show you guys right now. Here we go. So this is uh, Exceeded or Exceeded Saiyan Youth. I actually didn't know this was a word before I saw this. I had to look it up. And uh, it's Super Saiyan Vegeta Jr. All right. So his leader skill is Hybrid Saiyan's Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 77%. For physical types, key plus 2, HP, attack, and defense plus 30%. His super attack is victory rush extreme, raises defense for one turn, and causes supreme damage to the enemy. And his passive is now I'm serious, attack and defense plus 60% at the start of the turn, plus an additional key plus 2, and attack plus 50% for 5 turns after receiving an attack which is actually awesome, and it's even better than it seems on paper. Link skills. Uh, the Saiyan Lineage, Royal Lineage, Infighter, GT, Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, and Shattering the Limit. And his categories are World Tournament, Hybrid Saiyans, Vegeta's Family, Youth, and Super Saiyan. And one thing to note, one very important thing to note, is that his additional attack plus 50% is calculated separately for a total attack boost of 140%. After being attacked, and this of course can be activated again once the first five turns are over. So, like I said, this guy is actually quite amazing as a free to play unit. I'm very excited for him. So, um, there we go. That's the first unit we're going to talk about. And next up, we have this uh, Shenron Dragon Ball event. And the way it works is that every day from the time the event comes out, there will be a new level that comes out. And you have to clear that level in a specific way by meeting specific requirements to get a Dragon Ball that day. And once we get all seven Dragon Balls, we can unlock Black Smoke Shenron. And using him, we can unlock the Universal Crisis Birth of Shadow Dragons event, which I'll talk about in a second. But one other awesome thing, of course, is that for every Dragon Ball we collect, we get 4 stones for a total of 28 stones here. And moving on to the uh, Universal Crisis Shadow Dragons event. So once we get all the Dragon Balls, uh, summon Black Smoke Shenron, we can unlock this event. And what we have to do here is actually beat all of these Shenrons in order. And once we do that, we can unlock, uh, let's see this Extreme Z battle event, this Omega Shenron Extreme Z battle event. And while we can't actually get Dragon Stones for clearing the levels, what we can do is get copies of this uh, Int Spirit Bomb GT Goku, who is also very solid. So for the first, let's see, first uh, 10 levels, we get copies of him. And then from there on, we get his medals to Extreme Z Awaken him up to level 40. And then between level 41 to... Uh, 50 we get more copies of him so basically you need you'll get all the copies you need to SA 10 him uh, get him to uh, SA 15 after extremes the awakening and of course uh, unlock all the dupe paths too and then beyond that it's just orbs and Kai's and all that good stuff 
Um, some people might not want to do beyond level 50, but I think that would be a mistake because look at all these orbs we're getting, guys. 260 of each small orb, uh, 200 of each medium orb, uh, 35 of each large orb, 35 of each large orb. Um, I believe that is... is that every level or just... No, I think that's every level, right? I think it is. So yeah, in total, by completing levels 51 to 100, we get 50 Sleepy Kai's, 5200 Small Orbs, 4000 Medium Orbs, and 350 Large Orbs, which is absolutely amazing. Um, it's enough to rainbow at least one of each type of unit, so like one tech unit, one physical unit, one SDR unit, so on and so forth. So uh, definitely do levels 51 to 100 for those orbs if you guys can. And uh, let's actually move on now to this Int Goku here. So the Int Goku is called Aggregation of Everyone's Wishes uh, Goku GT. His leader skill is a Shadow Dragon Saga leader skill category. Shadow Dragon Saga category key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 77%, or int types key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 50%. His super attack is Universal Spirit Bomb Extreme, causes supreme damage to the enemy, and raises all allies' defense by 30% for one turn. His passive is a nuking passive, attack and defense plus 12% per key sphere obtained, key plus 2, and attack plus 20% in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained. Rambly changes randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres where there is a or when there is a shadow dragon saga category enemy so he's also a very respectable unit in his own right his links are all in the family saiyan warrior race experienced fighters prepare for battle saiyan pride gt and shattering the limit and his categories are shadow dragon saga pure saiyans and goku's family so there you go that is the Int Spirit Bomb Goku, and let's see if there's anything else you guys need to know. Um, the defense raise is 30% for one turn, and that's pretty much it. So there you go, that is the Spirit Bomb Goku we get from the Omega Shenron Extreme Z Battle Event. And next up, we have this Punch Machine event. Now, I wasn't really sure whether or not to include this in the video, because technically this could come out tomorrow, and if that's the case, then I guess it would count for part one. But either way, I'll include it here, um, since it's kind of close. And what we're getting are three new levels for this event. So currently on Global, we have levels 1 to 3, but we're also getting levels 4 to 6 that JP has had for a while. And essentially, it's the same thing as levels 1 to 3, except for one major difference, which is we can actually use support items as opposed to levels 1 to 3, where you can't use any support items. So with levels 4 to 6, it's actually much easier to get you know, max damage or basically clear the missions for them because support items help a lot by changing orbs, giving you boosted attack, and so on and so forth. So um, if you guys clear the new missions for these new stages, you can get up to a maximum of 89 more dragon stones, as well as a lot more orbs for, for level 5, and a lot of Zenny for level 4, which I don't think people care as much about, but it's still nice. Um, so we have that, and in this video, I'm not going to talk too much about strict, you know strategy or tactics, because we could actually go pretty in-depth with that, so I'll save that for a possible future video if I have the time. Um, but if not, then you guys I'm sure can find other videos out there, but other YouTubers who do great jobs of explaining that stuff. So there you go guys, that is the Punch Bag event. 89 more new stones up for grabs. I think it's 89, so something close to that at least. Alright, moving on. We have the Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash. GT edition and this is actually the 10th one on global it was the 12th one when it came out on JP and uh, this is a special edition one because all of the enemies for this one are actually GT themed characters so as you can see level 1 we got baby we got Jiro we got super 17 uh, we got Omega Shenron well we got three different Shenrons here and uh, they all do different things so maybe I'll make a different video in the future uh, talking about you know tactics for fighting these guys too. Like I said, I don't want to get too in depth about that stuff in this video. So uh, all I say is we got this Extreme Z, or sorry, not uh, Extreme Z. We got this Ultimate Dokkan Clash, or just Dokkan Battlefield. I, I keep getting confused by the name, so we're gonna go with Dokkan Battlefield. Um, this special edition GT themed Battlefield is coming as well, and obviously with. Uh, Battlefield comes some more uh, stones, some more of these uh, Battlefield memory or jewels, and some more uh, free orbs as well. And also, with this Ultimate Clash comes a new LR on Global, which JP has had as well for a while. 
the LR Oob, and he actually costs 250,000 Battlefield Memory, so hopefully for those of you that want him, uh, you saved up. But me personally, I actually don't have enough to get him. I don't think I will have enough either after clearing this special edition one, so I'll probably have to wait for a little bit, but hopefully for those of you that really want him, you have the 250k you need, and why don't we just quickly go over his details here. So his leader skill is Resurrected Warriors Category Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense Plus 100%, which is actually really good for a free-to-play category lead, or, you know, quote-unquote free-to-play. Um, and his super attack is Kamehameha for the 12 key and Rushing Bullet for the 18 key. Causes colossal damage to the enemy and lowers attack for the 12 key and causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack for the 18 key. His passive is Secret Birth, uh, raises key by up to, to 6 and attack and defense by up to 90%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stats boost. So he basically gets that full boost of 6 key and attack and defense plus 90% when you're at full HP and also fuses with Mr. Boo when conditions are met. And the fusion condition is uh, when your HP is 40% or less. His links are Infighter, Revival, Tough as Nails, uh, Cold Judgment, Kamehameha, GT, and Legendary Power. Categories are Resurrected Warriors and Transformation Boost. And like I said, he costs 250,000 uh, Battlefield Memory per copy. So uh, it's gonna take us a while to rainbow him if you guys want to. And his transformation into Majub looks like this. So, super attacks become Majin Beam and Lightning Clone, or Cyclone, sorry, Lightning Cyclone. Uh, mega Colossal Damage for the 18 key and greatly lowers attack. And the 12 key is the same as before, Colossal Damage and lowers attack. His passive is Boo and Oob, recovers 40% HP once only. So I assume that's when you transform, you'll heal 40% HP. Attack and defense plus 100% at the start of the turn, so that's not conditional anymore. You always get that 100% attack and defense. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, plus an additional key plus 2 per rainbow key sphere obtained, so it makes it a little bit easier for you to get his 18 key super off with that passive right there. His links that changed are Rival Duo, Master of Magic, Majin, and Fused Fighter. So these are the new links he gets after he transforms into Majub. And that is pretty much it guys, so that's going to do it for uh, Tech LR Majub here. And uh, he looks freaking sweet, I'm not going to lie, like, <laughs> I, I haven't used him myself, I haven't tested him out yet, but uh, just going by the art and the transformation, uh, those look really, really awesome, so I love that. Moving on now, we have this LR Banner, and this is the only new summons that we're going to get. Um, I mean, not including those type banners. I think we're still missing the STR one, the physical one, and uh, something else. I forgot which type. Oh, also int type. So those three type banners should still be coming out, um, you know, after the second part of the celebration begins. But as far as new banners, not including those ones that we're getting, this is going to be the only one for part two of the celebration. And uh, it's the first legendary summon banner that has two featured new LRs on it the LR Baby over here, and the LR GT Trio here, and um, we'll go over them in a second, but I'll show you guys exactly what this banner looked like on JP. So these were the featured units, guys. Uh, not the most exciting, if you ask me, but it is a GT themed thing, so I kind of get it at the same time. Um, we got like, you know, GT Trunks, GT Pan, we got uh, the Shenrons, we got uh, Majub here, or Oob. Um, I think it's Majub actually, right? Yeah, Majub and um, some other pans and SR trunks and all that stuff. Can never get enough SR trunks, right guys? <laughs> so that's the banner that was on JP and I'm pretty sure it's going to be very similar on Global. And let's move on now to the LR Baby and GT Trio. So I'm going to start with LR Baby here. His leader skill is Artificial Life Forms, Category Key plus 4, HP, Attack and Defense plus 130%. So this is a brand new category that we're going to get on Global once this guy comes out. Or Extreme AGL Type Key plus 4, HP, Attack and Defense plus 100%. His super attack is a Revenge Final Flash for the 12 key and 18 key is Reverse Shot. Causes Colossal Damage to Enemy and Lowers Attack for the 12 key and Mega Colossal Damage and Lowers Attack and Defense for the... Uh, 18 key. His passive is Tuffles Resurrection. Key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional key plus 3 and attack plus 50% when there is a pure Saiyans category enemy plus an additional key plus 3 and attack plus 50% when there is a hybrid Saiyans category enemy and a high chance to turn into 
giant ape when HP is 40% or below once only. And his links are Thirst for Conquest, Metamorphosis, Big Bad Bosses, GT, Hatred of Saiyans, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. And his categories are Giant Form, Transformation Boost, and of course, Artificial Life Forms, which is the category that he leads. And what else is there to say? Oh, also his um, giant form here, giant ape form. By the way, the art for this one looks amazing as well. Look at that, man. This, this is probably the best giant ape or great ape form uh, art in the entire game. I mean, it's to be expected since he's the only LR one. But anyways, it looks awesome. And uh, what changes here is that his super attack uh, becomes uh, super gallic gun and revenge death, uh, death ball final. It causes destructive damage for 12 to 17 key. Um, I think, wait, hold on. Greatly raises attack one turn. Oh, okay, so I got confused for a second. Okay, so this is the 12 key, causes destructive damage, and the 18 key greatly raises attack for one turn and causes destructive damage to the enemy. And destructive damage is actually a. I don't know if it says here uh, what the actual multiplier is, it does not say. Um, but it's it's a lot. <laughs> it's gonna do a good amount of damage. So there you go. That is the great ape form. And now let's talk about the GT trio of Goku, Pan, and Trunks. They are Dragon Ball Seekers category leaders, giving them key plus four, HP, attack, and defense plus 170 percent. Awesome leader skill right there. Or Super In types key plus four, HP, attack, and defense plus 100 percent. Their super attacks for the 12 key, it's triple energy blast. 18 key is Galaxy Tri Attack. 12 key causes colossal damage to enemy and raises defense by 33% for one turn. And the 18 key causes mega colossal damage and raises defense by 33% for three turns. Their passive, love, courage, and pride. Attack and defense plus 77% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 77% if it is an ultra super attack. Um, and also key plus one per Dragon Ball Seekers category ally on the team. So if you have a full team, they should get plus seven key. At the start of the turn, all right. And their link skills are Saiyan Warrior Race, the Saiyan Lineage, Rival Duo, GT, Prepare for Battle, Shadow of the Limit, and Legendary Power. And their categories are Dragon Ball Seekers and, of course, Joined Forces. And uh, let's see if there's anything else we see here. Nope, there's nothing else to know. So that is the GT trio. And uh, part of the reason why I want them so much is because of that 18 key super attack, guys. If you haven't seen it yet. Uh, go check it out. It looks freaking awesome. I love what they did with that 18 key super. And of course, they actually hit very, very hard on a optimized team, um, especially with B-Pan's active or uh, active skill, you know, active. So um, yeah, they're really good. They're really, really good. I think between the two, I prefer to get the GT uh, trio as opposed to the baby, although baby is very good in his own right. In my opinion, I know some people think he's bad, but I think he's pretty solid. Um, so there we go, those are the two new LRs guys, and that is it guys, so we're back now to the first page, there's not uh, anything else to say, as, as far as I know, these are all the new events and new characters that are coming out for part 2 of the celebration, which like I said, comes out on July 22nd, um, there could be possibly some minor changes between the uh, JP uh, part 2 and the global part 2, but of course, I just wanted to get this video out now because I won't be here for the beginning, the official beginning of part two. So uh, if there are any you know, slight changes here and there, uh, I'm sorry, but most of the stuff should stay the same because if you go by part one, a lot of the stuff that JP had for part one, Global also had. So it should be very similar for part two as well. And these are all the events that I'm aware of. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss anything. If I did, let me know in the comments down below so that everybody else can know as well. And uh, that's gonna do it guys for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments down below out of all of the stuff that I talked about, what are you personally the most hyped for? Is it the Vegeta Jr.? Is it the LR Baby, the LRGD Trio? Is it the uh, In Spirit Bomb Goku or something else that I talked about? But that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. You're on the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you'll stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.